and in fact probably 90% plus of beers today are, are variations of Pilsner. Right. Um, so that, that's that's the style of beer that it is. And in flavour, the, the difference is, is mainly comes about, funnily enough, not so much because of the yeast, because it's a different yeast, but because it's fermented at a lower temperature. So it's a bit like the difference between red wine and white wine, like red wines are fermented at warmer temperatures, produce a lot more fruity esters, particularly sort of the light nail varnish style, yeah. the ethyl acetate. Very attractive. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> red, red fingertips. And uh, actually, um, you know, more fusel alcohols like congeners, which give you hangovers, yeah. dare one say. A bit like difference between also uh, dark spirits and white spirits, yeah. you know, so more congeners. And that's mainly because they're fermented at warmer temperatures. Now the lagers fermented at lower temperatures, much finer flavours, fewer off flavours like, you know, mm. diacetyl is an off flavour that in, in lager which tastes like butterscotch. Uh, in, in ales it's quite commonly, a, you know, a sort of a feature of, of an ale. Yeah. Like, for example, um, stouts in particular which are usually ales, they're usually mm. fermented with um, Ale uh, yeast, uh, you know, can do with a little bit of butterscotch because it fills out the complexity and balances the the roasted burnt flavours of the um, of the stout. So, for the drinking punters out there, the fact is that there is a difference between an ale yeast and a lager yeast. Absolutely, yeah, they're very different, and the major difference, and and that is the major difference between ale and lager, mm. is that the ale is fermented with a top yeast. In other words, that means that at the end of the fermentation, the yeast flocculates and actually floats to the surface of the beer and traditionally it's skimmed off the top, much like you'd skim a custard yep. like that. And um, whereas a lager is fermented with that, and, and the ale yeast, as I said before, called Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Now, the, the lager yeast, <clears throat> after the, the uh, Bohemians and the Bavarians had discovered it, the Scandinavians, and particularly Carlsberg, which had started up at that stage, uh, there's a major brewery in Copenhagen, mm. actually sent their uh, their owner down to Munich to get a hold of the, the actual lager yeast. And he went down to Munich in a coach, got the lager yeast and took it back to Copenhagen in his top hat, so the story goes. <laughs> <laughs> So, and of course, it looks like a cream or a toothpaste at this stage. Yeah. So, um, so eventually, Carlsberg was well and truly in the lead around the world in terms of um, scientific knowledge about beer, to the extent that they actually named the yeast after Carlsberg, and it became known as Saccharomyces carlsbergensis. Mm. Now, it's 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 actually <coughs> been had various iterations since that time in name and it's, it was called Saccharomyces uvarum and now it's actually called Saccharomyces pastorianus hmm. which is appropriate because it's called a bottom yeast <laughs> so the four four letters at the end of pastorianus are a good um, easy to remember a, a de memoir <laughs> for which is top and which is bottom yeast a bit like stalactites and stalagmites yeah, yeah exactly so, yeah. so I've got um, I've got some examples yeah. here of uh, ales. I've got a Cooper's which I'm going to have to swirl right. uh, to get the um, the yeast into suspension. The yeast into suspension. I'm Cooper, sorry. Cooper's have uh, done a remarkable job in convincing people that um, they should be drinking cloudy beer, which of course uh, means that the actual yeast is in suspension. That might need a bit of a stir in terms of the. Okay. Well, that's, that's what it looks like, you know, at the top part of the, the bottle. It's slightly cloudy, but if I pour, like, the lot into a... No, I can get the lot in there, but... Oop, you can see how much cloudier it is. You've got to... If you hold it yeah. up there for the camera, you can see there's... A, it, it, yeah, there's, much, much cloudier. There's chunks in it. And beer in there, and that, that's the yeast. Yes. Now, um, if you like drinking yeast, it's fine. I mean, you know, drink yeast, but some people are allergic to it. Yeah. Uh, so it's now. Now this particular beer is an Australian classic. It is a genuine ale. It's made with Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the top fermenting yeast, and it tastes very, very estery, very fruity. 
if you're um, if you're actually a, a beer judge, you know the best way is to sniff it, and it's got a very strong uh, estuary note on the on the on the aroma, which sometimes is described as apricots. It's actually um, it's very attractive a uh, beer. It's um, that's the predominant flavour in the beer. It's it's fruitiness and yeah. a bit a bit of congener, you know, a bit of isoamyl alcohol. Um, sorry to be too technical, but no, that's right. these it's are the flavour <laughs> components that are actually in the beer. It's all part of having to, yeah. uh, you know, to people the difference between the two.